Somewhere, hidden amongst thorny brambles, is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <coughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at Mrs. Witch's house. Mrs. Witch's Spring Clean. Mrs. Witch, are you in? Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. What are you doing here? I'm here to spring clean your cottage. And these are my helpers. Ben and Holly. Hello, Mrs. Mrs. Witch. Right, spring clean time. Uh oh. Goodness me, what a mess. Yes, I'm a terrible one for keeping things. I just can't throw anything away. Never mind, I'll throw things away for you. It, yes, the problem is everything in here is magical and dangerous. So someone has to look after it. What? Even this dishcloth? That's a little magic carpet from a magic doll's house. Well, where is this doll's house? Uh, I'm not sure. So you don't need it then, do you? What about this old mirror? That's my magic mirror. Hmm. What's this? That's my magic lamp. There's a genie in it, you know. Of course there is. Oh, dear. I'm not sure I want to spring clean. Ugh, what's this horrid stuff? My slug jam. Slug jam? We'll get rid of that for you. Good. Job done. Uh, thanks. You're really very kind. Nanny Plum, are these things really magical? No. Uh, it's just a load of old junk. Now, we've got to get rid of it all, starting with the slug jam. Slug jam? Ugh, disgusting. Nobody would want to eat that. I know. I'll put it safely at the back of the cupboard where no one can find it. I wonder if Mummy would like this mirror. My mum might like this pretty lamp. And maybe someone would want the old carpet. It'd have to be someone with very bad taste. That's a nice carpet. Mrs Witch is throwing it away. Oh, it's not magical, is it? No, Nanny Plum said it's just junk. Do you want it? Yes, I would like it. Thank you. Ah, very nice. Very cosy. Beautiful blue sea and golden sand. It's a tropical paradise. A tropical paradise? I wish I was there. Ah! It is a magic carpet. Whoa! 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 Now listen here, you naughty magic carpet. Take me back at once. Whoa! Hello, Daddy. I've got a present for Mummy. Oh. Where is Mummy? She's been locked in the bathroom for ages getting ready to go out. And I'm hungry. Here I am. You look lovely, Mummy. I've got something for you. Oh, thank you, my dear. It's a magic mirror. Mrs Witch didn't want it anymore. So, what does the magic mirror do? I tell the truth. Oh, how exciting. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You are, Queen Thistle. Oh, how wonderful. Well, you normally are the fairest of them all. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a bit of a bad hair day today, isn't it? Oh, dear. Now I'll have to start all over again. <laughs> what did you say that for? Just telling the truth, Your Majesty. Now we'll be eating even later, and I'm starving. Hello, Mum. I've got a present for you. Mrs Witch had a spring clean and she threw this out. A lamp. Isn't it nice? Oh, lovely. Very brassy. I'll just give it a polish. 
I am the genie of the lamp. Oh, he's very manly. Yeah. <laughs> I will grant you three wishes. What should we wish for? Why don't you dance for us? <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> I wish for loud music. Very well. <laughs> I wish we had a big party with all of us dancing. That is your third and final wish. Uh, I can't stop. Uh, neither can I. No more dancing. Stop it now. But you have used up your three wishes. Bye-bye. Oh, no. I don't want to dance forever. Let's go and see King Thistle. He can sort it out. How are you doing in there, darling? I'm hungry. I'm ready. Mummy, you look super. Uh, yes, you look lovely. Right, let's go eat. I'll just ask the mirror what it thinks. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. How does my hair look now? Honestly, not good. Oh, dear. I don't know what to do. Let me help. I am a magic mirror, after all. Oh! There you go. Sorted. That's horrid. Change my hair back. No, it looks great. King Thistle, do something. Nobody will notice your hair. Come on, let's go to dinner. No, no. I can't go out like this. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to get a snack. Now then, what would be a lovely, tasty snack? Aha! Why does Nanny always put the best stuff at the back of the cupboard? Mmm! Jam! Help! Help! What on earth is that awful racket? King Thistle! King Thistle! I wish for a big party and now I can't stop dancing! Oh, really? It was a genie from the witch's old lamp! Please help us, King Thistle! Witch's magic, eh? I can't help. Fairy magic doesn't work on witch's magic. Sorry and all that. Ah! Why, so old elf? What are you doing up there? This witch's carpet just flew me off to a tropical paradise. Ah! Well, just keep the noise down. There's a good fellow. My hair! My hair! The mirror has made it even worse. I don't think I can stand much more dancing. How do I stop this thing? Well, if you will all play around with witch's magic. <laughs> That's the most disgusting thing I've ever... Uh, Daddy, where did you get that jam? From the back of Nanny's cupboard. <gasps> You've just eaten the witch's slug jam. And it's a bit worse than that. It's magic slug jam. Oh, no! What's going to happen to me now? Um, you might change into a slug. This is outrageous! Magic mirrors, flying carpets, magic lamps, slug jam. Mrs Witch can jolly well take all this stuff back. Mrs Witch! Mrs Witch! Oh, Hello, King Thistle. I see you tried my slug jam. Ah, uh, yes. Could you turn me back into myself, please? Don't you like being a slug? It's delightful. I just feel a bit, uh, sticky. Oh, very well. Ah, oh, that's better. Mrs Witch, can you stop us dancing? Of course. And can you magic my hair back? normal. My pleasure. And would you mind taking all this stuff back? I don't want it. Eh? Hey, what? Throwing out all those old things made me realise I needed a proper spring clean. Anyone want a magic saucepan? Now what do we do? All this stuff is too dangerous to just leave lying around. Hmm, this is King's work. Gosh, what have you done to your house? What do you mean? I really liked it how you had it before. Much more witchy. Oh. This lamp would look really good here. That's where I had it. This slug jam would look nice here. That's where it's always lived. The carpet here? 
and the mirror here. Just where I had them. You really have got good taste, Mrs Witch. That's why you've got such a nice little house. Oh, thank you. You're a lovely man. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. Goodbye, Mrs Witch. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for all your help. Daddy, did you really think that Mrs Witch's house was nicer with all that stuff in it? No, it was a big smelly mess. Why didn't you say so then? There's a time for telling someone their house is a big smelly mess and a time for being just nice. Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. And I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. The Fruit Harvest. Come on, everyone. Let's get a move on. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Where are you all going? It's harvest day. Can we come too? Hop aboard. <laughs> Today's the day we pick all our fruit on the farm. To make fruit pies. Then tonight we have a harvest dance. I love dancing. Me too. Morning all. Morning, Morning wise old elf. It's harvest time. Hooray! To the strawberry patch, everyone. It's been a good year for strawberries. Yes, we've grown loads of them. Here we are, the strawberry patch. Oh, but where are all the strawberries? They're gone, all eaten. But that's crazy. Incredible. There were lots of strawberries here yesterday. What could have eaten them? I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. There's still the apples. To the orchard, Mr Elf. Here we are, the apple orchard. Right, pick the apples. But there are no apples. What? It's impossible. There were loads of apples here yesterday. Something very odd is going on. No strawberries, no apples. What's eating them all? It could be locusts. Yes, stories tell of insects called locusts who arrive in their millions, swarming all over the fruit and eat it all up in seconds. They eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Yes, eat. thank you, Mrs Elf. We get the idea. But locusts don't wear size 10 shoes. <gasps> what is it? It's a footprint. Our fruit hasn't been eaten by a swarm of locusts. This is the work of a swarm of gnomes. <gasps> gnomes! Wise old elf, how many gnomes does it take to make a swarm? Just the one. Gnomes have a huge appetite. They can't stop themselves eating. If they see food, they eat it. That's right. They eat and eat and eat and eat. Yes, and... yes, Mrs Elf. So, does it mean there'll be no fruit harvest and no dancing? Yes. No, because there's always blackberries. They grow in the wild. Mmm, blackberries. But we have to get to the blackberries before the gnome does. <laughs> How do you stop a gnome from eating everything? Well, they used to say, to scare off a gnome, bring an orange from home. Yes, we tried that once. What happened? He ate the orange. Yes, gnomes like all fruit. The only thing they like more than fruit is pie. Here we are. The blackberries are still here. Thank God. Goodness! No time to waste. Begin the harvest, everyone. Right, right on. On. 
picking blackberries is one of the most dangerous jobs for an elf. Why? Because elves are quite small. And blackberry bushes are covered in big thorns. And the best berries are very high up. Oh, I can't reach it. Let me help. That's tasty. Ah, the gnome! Hello. Nice to see you. Well, it's not nice to see you. Oh, that's a shame. Normally, I'm very popular. Are you? Uh, no. Everyone hates me. Well, I'm not surprised. You've eaten our strawberries and our apples, and now you're eating our blackberries too. Oh, dear. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't realise they were yours. Mmm, delicious. Stop it. Stop it. Stop eating everything. I can't help it. Sorry. He's really good at picking blackberries. Yes. The thorns don't bother me. I have a thick skin. Why don't we ask the gnome if he'll pick blackberries for us? Clever Holly! Then we can still have our harvest. And our harvest dance. Harvest dance? Oh, I like dancing. Can I come? No! I'll take that as a yes. What time does it start? Mr Nine, you can come to the dance if you pick some blackberries for us. It's a deal. We'd like this truck filled up with blackberries. Thank you. No problem. One blackberry coming up. Oh, it's a nice one. <coughs> Delicious. Not in your mouth, in the truck. Oh, yes. Sorry. Don't worry. This time I'll... Oh, a blackberry. Yum, yum. <coughs> no, 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 no. This isn't going to work if you keep eating them. Whoops-a-daisy. I do apologise. This time I'll make sure I... Oh, a blackberry. <coughs> Sorry, I ate it again. Ah, oh, this is useless. Every time he has food in his hand, he just eats it. That's just what gnomes do. They eat and eat and eat and right. eat and eat and Right, it's time for plan B. What's plan B? You'll see. I'll be back in a moment. Mr Elf, do you know what plan B is? No, but if it's the wise old elf who's come up with it, it's bound to be very clever. Or very stupid. Ta-da! As you see, I am dressed as a pie. Why are you dressed as a pie? Gnomes love pie more than anything in the world. So, every time Mr Gnome is about to eat a blackberry, I will run in front of him dressed as a pie. Won't that be dangerous? Yes, very. That's why it's plan B. This time, I promise I'm not going to eat it. Ooh, look at that. <coughs> Silly me, I did it again. Focus, Mr Gnome. Right, this is it. No more. Oh, a blackberry. Hey there, Mr Gnome. Look over here. I'm a pie. Oh, a pie. Oh, sorry. Thought I saw a pie. Never mind. Here's a lovely blackberry for me. Hey, wouldn't you rather eat a pie? Ooh, yes, I would. Delicious pie. Ah! <laughs> Wait, don't eat me. Ooh, a talking pie. That'll be tasty. I'm not a pie. I'm not a pie. Not a pie? What are you then? I'm the wise old elf. Oh, what are you doing here? Let's put you down again. Oh, look, a blackberry. Oh, here we go again. Hey there, Mr. Gnome. Look down here. I'm a pie. Oh, a pie. Oh. This is going to be a long afternoon. Where on earth can they be? It's been ages. And we can't start the harvest dance without them. Well, it looks like we can't have a dance then. 
Here we are with a fruit harvest. Blackberries. What happened to the strawberries? The gnome ate them. The gnome? Oh, no. What about the apples? The gnome ate them, too. Well, I'd like to give this gnome a talking to. You can if you like. He's here. Hello. Yeah. What's he doing here? He helped pick the blackberries for us. So we invited him to the dance. Oh. He ate 2,000 blackberries. But we got ten for us. Uh, nine. I ate one on the way here. Sorry. Anyway, there's still enough for a big pie. Excellent. Then let the harvest dance commence. Hooray! <laughs> This is a bit boring. <gasps> Let's get this party started. Take your partners, please. Swing to the left. Step to the right. Wiggle your hips. Spin around and get a bit dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! It's traditional that the first slice of pie goes to the person who picked the most fruit. Oh, who's that then? That's you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Uncle Gaston. <coughs> Hi, Gaston. I'll be right down. <coughs> oh, you're blue. Have you got a cold or something? <coughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <coughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? <coughs> oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony. <coughs> I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. <coughs> and Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <coughs> <coughs> and these are their children, Amber, Emerald and Keith. <coughs> Ah, oh, look, they are so cute. <laughs> Hello, you lot. <laughs> They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <laughs> Their uncle Gaston. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. <laughs> but he ate the letter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bye. Nanny Plum. Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum, I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh. Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber, fetch! <laughs> <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, look. Baby lazy birds. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. <laughs> See what I mean? They can have a sleep in Gaston's cave. There you are, baby ladybirds. Now you can have a little rest. They don't seem very tired. Come on, lie down. <sighs> They're not doing it. How can we get them to sleep? Hmm, to make my little sister sleepy, my mum reads her a storybook. Gaston's got storybooks. But looks like he's eaten them all. I've got lots of storybooks back home. Dee -dee -da -dum. Ah, lovely clean washing. Gaston, no! I'm not having muddy footprints all over my washing today, thank you. Ah! Hi, Nanny. We've brought the baby ladybirds over. Yes, I see. <sighs> Tired today, eh, Gaston? At least that means you won't be jumping up on me and licking my face. <laughs> ah! Goodness me, baby ladybirds. Yes, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Well, well, so Gaston is a girl ladybird after all. No, Gaston's a boy ladybird. He's their uncle. He's looking after them for the day. Are they house trained? Nearly. How oh, adorable. Little puppy ladybirds. Can they stay, Mummy? I'm sorry, Holly, but it's of not... Of course they can. Yay! I'm going to read a storybook to make the baby ladybirds sleepy. Oh, but where are the baby ladybirds? They've gone! Sounds like they're upstairs. <gasps> they're in Daisy and Poppy's room. I'll go and get them. No, Ben. Daisy and Poppy can be a bit dangerous. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> baby birds, baby birds. Daisy, Poppy, they're not your dollies. They're baby ladybirds. Baby birds. Ruff, 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 ruff. Here they are. Um, how many baby ladybirds are there? Three. Hmm, there seem to be four now. And one of them's wearing a crown. Oh, no! That's Mummy. They've turned her into a baby ladybird. Baby bird, baby bird. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, it's very naughty to turn your mother into a ladybird. Oof, thank you, darling. <laughs> oh, dear. It's all right, King Thistle. They're just getting overtired. Right. Where are your storybooks, Holly? In my bedroom. <laughs> they like Holly's bed. They've got so much energy. I love this storybook. No, Gaston. It's not for eating. Rock-a-bye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby 
Cradle and all. Dan will come, baby. Cradle and all? That's not very nice. You're right. Um, uh, what about this one? It's about Ladybird. Ladybird, Ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh dear, this one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big bad wolf came along to the straw house and he huffed and he puffed and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look. They're all asleep. Oh, yes. We did it. What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. Oh! oh. oh. And what is it, Gaston? Oh. He's heard something. Oh! 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 oh. 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 Gaston, they found us. <laughs> oh, they've woken up already. How come they've got so much energy again? Mm, it might be something to do with them having a little sleep. Yes, my little sister's always got tons of energy after she's had a nap. Oh. <laughs> they do love their Uncle Gaston. And Uncle Gaston loves them too. <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom Today's adventure starts at the Little Castle Plumbing Ah! Can someone fix this tap? What's wrong, Daddy? I just want to have a bath and the tap is dripping cold water on my toes. That tap's been dripping for ages. Shall I just fix it with magic? No, Nanny Plum! The last time you fixed a tap with magic, you flooded the whole kingdom. Oh, yes, so I did. You need a plumber. Good idea, Ben. Let's call the elf plumber. Hello, is that the elf plumber? Yes, this is the elf plumber. We've got a dripping tap. Ah, taps can be tricky. I'll be right over. OK, thanks. Goodbye. He'll be right over. The elf plumber is here, Your Majesty. That was quick. Good day. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified plumber. Oh, good. Can you fix our tap? Yes. This is bad. Who put this tap in for you? You did. Ah, very good workmanship. You haven't been turning it on and off, have you? A bit, yes. When we use the bath. Ah, well, that's the trouble then. I was going to fix it with magic. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Well, can you mend it? Yes. Watch a master plumber at work. And that is how you fix a tap. Amazing! Oh, dear. Can't you just kick it again? Ho, ho, ho! 
A nice idea, Your Majesty. But I didn't take three years of plumbing school to just kick things. That pipe will have to come out. The whole pipe? I'm afraid so. It'll need digging out. Fine. Do whatever it takes. Just get it fixed. Um, this might be a good time to get out of the bath, Your Majesty. Oh, righto. Everyone stand clear. Hello. Darling sister, how are you? It's my sister, Queen Marigold. Oh, no! Great news. We've just had our castle rebuilt and we want you to come and see it. They want us to go and see their rebuilt castle. Oh, no! A visit to the snooty marigolds. Do we have to go? I'll handle this. King Thistle speaking. I hear you've had your castle rebuilt. Oh, it's very modern. All open plan, don't you know? Lots of space and air. Not like your stuffy old castle. Well, someone's doing up our castle too. He's very good. They're having the little castle done up. Oh, we simply must go and see. We'll be right over, darlings. Toodle pip. There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? Actually, it's just bad news. The marigolds are coming here. Oh, no! It gets worse. I told them someone was doing up the castle for us. Oh, yes? Who's that, then? You! Oh. It's always the same with the marigolds. They're just coming over to laugh at us. Oh, well, I'm sure the wise old elf can do something to make our castle a bit better. Yes, I've got a few ideas already. We can put in plastic windows and add a few garden gnomes. No, no, no! It needs to be super modern. I can do super modern. Concrete, glass, even taps that don't drip. That's more like it. Give me a year and I'll turn this castle into a palace. But the marigolds are coming today! Oh. And they're expecting a modern... Open plan castle. Don't worry, Queen Thistle. I can rebuild your castle. And we can help. Yes. Darling, why don't you go out for a nice walk and leave it with us? Why do I have to go away? Well, it's like one of those shows you see on the telly where you go away and they do your house up in a day and when you come back, it's lovely. Oh, I see. That sounds nice. Bye. Bye. When you come back, you won't recognize the place. Right. What's the plan? It's a big job. Can we get it done by tonight? Maybe, if we bodge it. What does bodge it mean? It's just a term we use in the building trade. Oh. Right. This wall has got to come out for a start. I suppose you know what you're doing. Don't worry. I always get the building inspector to check my work. Who's the building inspector? Me. But how can you inspect your own work? Oh, I'm very strict. Hmm. Let me see now. Having some work done, are you? Ah, uh, yes. Dear, oh dear. Who did this for you? You did. It's very bad work. Very, very bad work. You see, when I'm the building inspector, I'm very strict. Yes, you said your own work was rubbish. Which means it will all have to be redone. This is going to be a much bigger job than I thought. Calling all elves. I'll be needing the elf truck, the elf digger, and the elf crane. Hello, wise old elf. What's the job? We need to take all this away. All what? All of the castle. Really? Yes. We're going to rebuild it from scratch. Right all. Come on, lads. Let's get cracking. What a lot of noise! Take it away! Afternoon, Your Majesty. Ah, yes, um, carry on. 
That's everything, lads. Off you go. Daddy, they've taken the whole castle away. This is a disaster. Cooey. Oh, no. It's Mummy. Can I take a look now? Uh, only if you close your eyes. Oh, this is fun. Just like those shows on the telly. Can I open my eyes now? I wouldn't. Tell me when I can. Uh, in about a month. Oh! Where's our home gone? Uh, well... What do you think the marigolds will say when they see this? They'll laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> Darling sister. Oh, my word. Oh, I say. It isn't quite how we expected it to be. I don't know what to say. It's uh, not finished yet. It's incredible. Amazing. We went for high ceilings. You went for no ceilings at all. And look at the toilet. Yes. Completely open plan. It's so adventurous. Well, it was all mostly my idea. King, this silly old boy, you're a born architect. Have you considered teaching architecture? Oh, I don't know. We must do this with our castle. Come on, darling. No time to lose. Sorry, we can't stay. Bye. 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 Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Only because the marigolds are completely bonkers. <laughs> I want my home back. Nanny, magic the castle back, please. OK, but it'll have to be a very big spell. Thunder and lightning! Blow, wind, blow! Back as it was! Home sweet home! Ah, oh, that's better. My home is back. It's just how it was before. It's better than it was before. How? All that magic I used has also fixed the tap. Oh, well done, Nanny. I have to say, I'm impressed. Not one drip. Let's turn it on. <laughs> There's a fountain coming out of the toilet. There's a waterfall coming out of the sink. And rain coming out of the ceiling. Oh, dear. Maybe I shouldn't have done such a big spell. Like I said, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> And Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Big Ben and Holly. <laughs> Catch Holly. <laughs> Catch Ben. <laughs> Let's play football. Okay. I'll magic the ball a bit bigger. Uh, hang on. I'm still holding it. Don't worry, Ben. I'll be very careful. Whoa! Oops! Holly! Now I'm big! Sorry, Ben. It was an accident. We can't play together like this. OK. I'll make myself big too. Whoa! <laughs> Great! Now we're both big. <gasps> Who's that? <laughs> <gasps> Big people are coming! Shall we hide? I don't think we can. We're too big. What shall we do? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's just Lucy. <laughs> Hello, Lucy. Hello. Who are you? <laughs> Lucy, it's us. Ben and Holly. Oh, yes. But you're so big. I made us big with a spell. Wow, that's great. 
I'm here with my friends, Katie and Yasmin. <laughs> Do you want to meet them? But big people aren't meant to know about little people like us. But I know about you. You're special. Don't worry, you look just like big people. They'll never know. OK, but we mustn't tell them any of our elf and fairy secrets. <laughs> Hello. These are my friends, Ben and Holly. I'm Yasmin. And I'm Katie. I like your fairy outfit. Thanks. Where do you live? In a fairy castle. You live in a fairy castle? Holly! Uh, I mean, I live in a house. Where do you live, Ben? I live in a tree. A tree? I mean, a block of flats. We call it the tree. I live in a block of flats too, but we call it a block of flats. I like your elf costume, especially the ears. Are you going to a fancy dress party? Uh. Come on, everyone. Let's play catch. Katie, catch! <laughs> to you, Yasmin. <laughs> to you, Ben. I threw it too far. Don't worry, I've got it. Ooh, wow. You can run really fast. And jump really high. That's because I'm an elf. Ben. I mean, that's because I keep fit. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, can you run fast? No, but I can fly. Holly, remember, you can't really fly. Oh, yes. I can do magic. Ooh, magic. I like magic tricks. Show us a trick then. Are you sure you can do magic, Holly? Of course. Are you really sure? Yes. Hikers, pikers. Wow. wow. Holly, you'll give away that we're not normal big people. Oh, sorry. That's an amazing trick. How is it done? <laughs> is it a trick ball? Uh, it's a secret. A magician never gives away their secrets. Ooh. Ooh. Lucy, home time. That's my dad. We have to go now. It was nice to meet you, Ben and Holly. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Ben, should I shrink us back to normal size? No, I like being big. I never want to be small again. <laughs> Me too. Dum de dum de do. Diddly diddly do. Hi, Strawberry. Ah, a big person. Come back, Strawberry. It's only us. Strawberry. <laughs> Giants are coming. Giants are coming. What's the matter, Strawberry? Oh, Dad. I just saw two huge big people coming this way. Ah, big people with their big feet. And you never know where they're going to step with those big feet. Hello, everyone. It's only us. Oh, Ben and Holly. But you're big. Holly magicked us big. And we're going to stay big. That's very nice. But would you mind lifting your foot up? Oh, I stepped on you. Sorry, Mr Mayor. That's quite all right, Princess Holly. But if you're going to stay big, you'll need to watch those feet of yours. Holly! Home time! Oh, that's Nanny. Bye, everyone. Bye. Home time. And that's my mum. See you tomorrow. Feet, feet, feet. Oops, that was close. Sorry. Bye. 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 Sound the alarm! Big people! Big people! Lock your doors! It's OK, Mum. It's me. Oh, Ben! How did you get so big? Holly magicked me bigger. Well, you can't come inside like that. Can Holly make you small again? I don't want her to. I've decided to stay big forever. Oh, well, it's your life, I suppose. Do you want some dinner? Yes, please. You've got a lovely large pie for dinner today. There you go. Haven't you got anything bigger? What?
What are you talking about? That's a huge pie. Uh, I think my tummy is a bit bigger than it was. Well, your tummy might have to go without. I'm used to feeding Ben the elf, not Ben the giant. Oh, no, no, no. Hello, I'm home. Ah, a giant! A giant! No, Daddy, it's me. My goodness, Holly! What happened to you? I magicked myself big and I want to stay big forever. Ah! Watch where you put those big feet. Holly, you almost stepped on Nanny. Oops, sorry, Nanny. Holly, are you really sure you want to stay big forever? Yes. It's almost bedtime. How are you going to fit in your little bed? I know, Mummy. I'll sleep outside. OK, but you'll need to keep warm. How about I magic you up a giant sleeping bag? Yes, please, Nanny. Oh, lovely. I'll sleep out here under the stars. Good night, Holly. Good night. Ah, this is cosy. I hope Ben has found somewhere nice to sleep as well. Calling all elves! Stop making toys! We need a giant sleeping bag! Right Who is this enormous sleeping bag for? Ben Elf. He's a giant person now. Oh, they grow up so fast these days. Ben, grab hold of this and pull! A giant sleeping bag. It's great. Thanks, everyone. Our pleasure. Elves are good at making giant sleeping bags. And, and we're, we're elves! <laughs> ah! Maybe don't toot your horn when you're so big. Now sleep well. Good night. Good night. It is fun being big. I can't wait till morning. Princess Holly, time to get up. Oh, where are you? I'm here. The spell must have worn off and now I'm little again. Oh, never mind, Holly. Big is overrated in my opinion. I'm going to see if Ben has shrunk too. Ben! Where are you? I'm here. The spell wore off in the night. Oh. Now we're little again. Well, at least you'll be able to have breakfast. Yes, yes breakfast. breakfast. Thanks, Mum. Mmm. I didn't realise how hungry I was. I do like being small. Me too. <laughs> Yes, we are. We decided we like being little after all. Actually, I think I like you being little too. You're just the right size for an elf and a fairy. And you're just the right size for a big person. <laughs> Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <coughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Daisy and Poppy go bananas. Bang! 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 Ah! Daisy! Poppy! Bang! Bang! Stop making that awful noise! Bang! Bang! <laughs> oh, this is too loud! Daisy, Poppy, I'm taking your wands away and putting them in the cupboard. <laughs> Mummy is right. No more wands until you learn to use them properly. Ah, oh, 
Finally, a bit of peace and quiet. Oh, who's that? Ahem. Granny Thistle is here. Oh, no! My mother! Granny Thistle! Granny! Granny! Granny. Darlings, darlings, darlings. Marvellous to see you. Holly, give your granny a hug. <laughs> Hello, Granny Thistle. Oh, young Ben Elf. Always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> What's wrong with the twins? Why are you so sad? Wandy, Wandy. <gasps> Where are your wands? I've taken them away for now. But how will they do magic without wands? Uh, maybe it's better if Daisy and Poppy don't do magic. Well, they're your children, darling, and the last thing I want to do is interfere. At least Holly has a wand. <laughs> Oh, yes. Holly's having magic lessons from me. What have you learned, Holly? I can turn people into frogs. Or rabbits. Frogs? You're still on frogs? And rabbits. But that's baby magic. What about the hard stuff, like putting pink spots in the sky? <laughs> or making the trees sing? La, 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 la. No, thank you, Mother. We don't have much need for singing trees. La, la. Or pink spots in the sky. OK, you're the boss. Anyway, I've brought presents. Presents for the children. Presents! Holly, I've brought you this beautiful ring. Thank you. Is it magical? Um, maybe a little. Just don't rub it, OK? OK. And for Daisy and Poppy... Two grown-up wands! Wandy! Wandy! But we've just taken their wands away. Yes, it's lucky I came when I did. These wands belonged to your great-grandparents, Vlad the Powerful and Sharon the Totally Insane. Not dangerous, are they? Only as dangerous as the person who waves them. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think we'd better put these straight in the cupboard. Oh, well, of course, you know best. And it's past your bedtime. Mm. Come on, up to bed. Now for your bedtime story. Little Bunny Bunting. Darling, would you mind awfully if I read the twins the story? Uh, oh, yes, of course. How kind. But uh, try not to get them too excited. They're meant to be going to sleep. Of course. Leave it to me. Once upon a time, there lived a rabbit called Little Bunny Bunting. Sounds a bit boring to me. <laughs> this is the book that I had when I was a little girl. Crazy spells for the under fives. <laughs> Spell number one, how to make a storm. Ooh. What a day. Where's Granny now? Uh, she's with the twins. Oh, is that such a good idea? After me, wave your wands. <laughs> Wandy. No wands? Oh, of course. Mummy and Daddy knew best and took your wands away. Never mind. Here's mine. Wandy. Say, thunder, thunder, thunder. Thunder, thunder, thunder. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> If that had something to do with Granny. Hello, is Holly coming out to play? Hello, Ben. She'll be down in a minute. Did you hear the storm last night? Hear it? It was in our bedroom. A storm in a bedroom? Cool. It was a magical storm. Good morning, Mother. I already know the answer to this, but who showed them how to make a magical storm? Me. What a surprise. Only a little indoor weather, darling. Nothing to worry about. What else did you teach them? Oh, just a few harmless little spells. Hi, everyone. Hello, Holly. Morning, Ben. Ah, why are there two 
Blue Hollies. Daisy and Poppy did a spell on me. We asked them not to, but they did it anyway. This is what happens when Daisy and Poppy do magic. So, it's a little doubling spell. No harm done. It's not like there's ten Hollies. Morning! 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 And if there were, wouldn't that be nice? Wandy, wandy. Where did they get the wand from? Oh, it seems to be my wand. Bye-bye. <laughs> They've disappeared. The twins have escaped. <laughs> <laughs> They're out in the wild. Sound the Daisy and Poppy alarm. <laughs> oh, this is all big fuss over nothing. Oh, yes. The twins are out there somewhere and they've got your wand. What other spells did you teach them? Ah, uh, I did mention something about walking trees. Tree go walkies. Walkies. Daddy, trees are walking towards the little castle. I don't want to hear it. It's like a bad dream. I suppose this is your doing, Nanny Plum. No, it was Granny Thistle. Hello there. Granny Thistle, I might have known. It's been a long time, Cedric. Not long enough, Millicent. You always were a troublemaker. Yes, Mother. You started this. Now you have to sort it out. OK, you're the boss. I just think children should have a bit of fun, that's all. There's good fun and bad fun. This is bad fun. <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Poppy, you're a long way from home. Bunny Rabbit! <laughs> Froggy! <laughs> ah! Daisy and Poppy are going bananas! <laughs> bananas! I'm a banana! <laughs> oh, darlings! There you are! I see you've been doing lots of fab magic. Chicken! Quack, quack! <laughs> oh, wonderful! <laughs> Oh, I'm a hedgehog. Groovy. <laughs> Pebbles. You've turned me to stone. Maybe not so good. <laughs> Holly, I think it's time for you to rub that ring now. What's she saying? The ring? Rub the ring? I think she's saying rub the ring. But didn't you say not to rub the ring? I've changed my mind. It's not good fun anymore. The ring. All right, here we go. Huh? What happened? We're back in the little castle. And everything's back to normal. No walking trees or spots in the sky. Yes, Holly rubbed the magic ring. It turned everything back as it was. That is some powerful ring. Yes, the ring belonged to your great-grandfather, Neville the Naughty. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at the little darlings. They're all tired out. Story, story. You like a story? Of course, my darlings. Dangerous magic for toddlers. How long is my mother staying for? Two weeks. Chapter One, How to Turn Mice into Dragons. <laughs> dragon, dragon. 